Greetings and salutations everybody, this is Janice from College Express. Now chances are if you're watching this video, you've probably finished with your early or regular decisions. Congratulations, you've made it this far. However, I'm here to tell you that hitting submit on your Common App isn't the end of your journey. That's right folks, there's still a lot left to do. So why don't we just buckle up and get right into it. So first off is financial aid. That's right, don't forget about those. Um, every college or university has different deadlines and some are earlier than others. And make sure you talk to your parents about which ones you're gonna send first because I think they only let you send a couple at once um, so do the ones with earlier deadlines first and then do the other ones after those so next up is scholarships so if you want a little baggage off your back in terms of the financial side definitely check out scholarships local ones are very helpful too. ask your school or your guidance counselor if there are any local scholarships um, my school gave us this packet of eligibilities for local scholarships so if you if your school doesn't hand those out then check your guidance counselor and ask if they have any resources or knowledge of any existing scholarships in your local area if not do not fret because there are tons of online sites that help with uh, scholarships and you can apply so if you have free time on your hands and you want to uh, get a chance to win some scholarships you got to type up some essays or short answers other times you're just submitted without any you know writing requirements so make sure you check those out before the deadline if you're interested Third on the list is mid-year reports. So most, actually all universities require a mid-year report so they know that you're not slacking senior year. If you've done your midterms, um, your counselor is going to fill out a mid-year report and send it to the university so they can check up on your grade. Schools do send final year reports, so like everything, like the year in total, all your grades of that year, they send that too. So make sure you don't get caught up in senioritis. Next up is interviews. So although the deadline of January 1st may have passed, you still can do a lot of interviews because admissions aren't going to start looking at your applications right on January 2nd are they you still have a lot of time to ask you know colleges if you can still do an interview and actually I did a lot of my interviews after January 1st too um, so set up a date if the college has a lot of alumni in the area you'll definitely be able to have some so just make sure you check through all your colleges and see if they have any interview um, opportunities I think that is a really good bonus to your application you know because now that the application is out of your hands you can still come kind of put an influence and see more of yourself in your application through the interview. So I highly recommend just searching through which colleges are doing interviews in your local area and reach out to them, send them an email or they will send you an email. Last on the list is campus visits. I think it's really important that you can look at a place and say, oh yes, this is what I want to call home for the next four years. Now, some places are more city-like, some places are more urban or uh, rural. So. If you want to know what kind of college you are going to find and call your home for the next years, definitely check them out. There are a few different kinds of campus visits. There's the traditional campus tours where you go around with, an, uh, with a student and they kind of tour you around the place and you can ask questions about the programs or the education. Oh, there's open houses and overnight visits. Overnight visits are really cool because you can kind of go to the school and sleep over with actually one of the students, which I think is really cool. So whichever suits your taste, you can go to the college and visit, look around and see if it kind of matches what you call home. So to sum everything up after November 1st or December 1st, make sure you're updated and on par with financial aid, FAFSA, CSS, scholarships, major reports, interviews, and campus visits. It's also really crucial that you uh, keep in touch with your guidance counselor. They're the ones who are going to be sending your mid-year reports, um, your teacher recommendations, or any other thing that needs to be sent following um, the application. So make sure you are on par with them as well. I hope this video helped. Um, if this helped, please give it a thumbs up and like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.